Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Pav Bamber here for PSB Sports, and I'm lucky, luckily enough to be joined by Sky Sports' very own, the knowledge is back on PSB Sports, Mr. Spencer Fern. Spencer, how you doing, my friend? Yeah, I'm really good, man. How you doing, brother? I'm doing good, Spencer. I'm doing good. It's been a while. A lot's happened in the boxing and combat sports world since, since me and you have spoken. Um, so let's get right right uh, to it, Spencer. So obviously the massive massive news was was announced yesterday that Floyd Mayweather will officially be fighting Conor McGregor on August the 26th in Las Vegas. It'll be a boxing match, 12 rounds at £154. Pounds. Um, Spencer, firstly, your initial reaction to the fight being announced and your initial thoughts on the fight? Um, it wasn't as big to me as when Manny Pacquiao, Floyd Mayweather, was announced. Mm -hmm. But I'm saying for a standpoint, for entertainment only, and knowing that we are going to get entertainment from both parties, especially the press conferences. The press conferences are going to be more exciting to me than the fight. That um, it, it's, it's, it's exciting for inter entertainment purposes only, then I would, I'd be interested in watching it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I was already today watching American sports shows such as ESPN First Take, obviously with Max Kellerman and Stephen A. Smith. Also, I was watching Undisputed with Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. Um, Max Kellerman, Skip, is saying that um, it's pretty much an, an exhibition. Stephen A. Smith is saying that um, he'll give McGregor a puncher's chance and Shannon Sharp saying there's no way Conor McGregor will win. So how are you viewing those comments and obviously some of your thoughts as well? I don't give Conor McGregor no chance whatsoever. This is, this is actually ludicrous. But it makes money. So if it makes money, then God bless these guys. I think it was 1976 or 75 that Muhammad Ali did the exhibition against a Japanese wrestler called Inoki. Um, and he went 15 rounds in, which was, which was kind of boring. Ali was getting kicked in the leg and everything else, but it got paid really well. Um, but here you have somebody like a Conor McGregor that does exactly what Floyd Mayweather does where he shoots with his mouth and everything else and he backs it up when he fights but his discipline is is is, is mixed martial arts Floyd Mayweather is one of the greatest defensive fighters of all time arguably one of the he's top 10 of all time what chance would would Conor McGregor have going up against that magnitude of a fighter he's got no chance in hell it's, seriously he's got no chance in hell but you know what He's going to make $80 million, so God bless him. Um, everyone backing him, seriously, everyone backing him is because they they dislike what Floyd Mayer represents. So because they dislike Floyd Mayer so much, they will, they'll be rooting for Conor McGregor. But in their hearts of hearts, they know Conor McGregor has no chance whatsoever. It's like, have you been the greatest tennis player and me being the greatest badminton player. If I was to play you at tennis, you would destroy me. And if I was to play you at badminton, I would destroy you. And it's as simple as that. It is two different disciplines, right? If Floyd Mayweather wanted to go into the octagon against um, Conor McGregor, he'd get, his, he'd, get, he'd get the crap kicked out of him. But he's not. He's saying, look, this is going to be a boxing match over 12 rounds. And it will be a bad... Conor McGregor will get a bad beat. Conor McGregor will get stopped in this fight. Not just a bad beat, but he'll get stopped because you won't know how to to fend off the brutal attack that is coming forward to him. You have to remember, Floyd Mayweather has beaten so many guys who are going to go down in the Hall of Fame um, in a few years' time. And Floyd Mayweather has beaten these guys handily. Not just beating them, he's beating these guys comprehensively. The only fight that we could turn around and say that cop he wasn't a comprehensive winner, was this Castillo fight. We cannot turn around and say that the fight they had with um, Oscar De La Hoya wasn't a comprehensive win by him. It was a comprehensive win by him. So, even though it was a split decision. So, what would Conor McGregor bring to the table? Conor McGregor has to bring that thing of um, unpredictability. But on the real, what can he do that's going to be so unpredictable that somebody like a Ricky Hatton, whose style is not a predictable style of fighting, couldn't succeed against Floyd Mayweather, or what on somebody like a, um, a Miguel Cotto, who is a, is, who's going to definitely be a Hall of Famer, couldn't bring to the table. Someone like a, a, a Diego Corrales, who was a taller man, had longer arms than him, 
couldn't bring to the table. So what, what do these guys bring to the table? There's nothing that Conor McGregor is not bringing to the table but the fact that he's endeared himself to the fans, right? And people want to give him a chance against Floyd Mayer for the simple fact that what Floyd Mayer represents is not exactly their cup of tea. Spencer, additionally, when Mayweather McGregor was trending last night as the number one trend worldwide, um, I saw a lot of comments on social media in particular saying that the fight shouldn't be licensed due to the fact that Conor McGregor is making his boxing debut against the five-time, uh, five-weight world champion and undefeated fighter Floyd Mayweather. Do you have any issue with it, with this fight actually being licensed as well? No, I don't. It's great for the sport of boxing. And I'm a purist of the boxing, but then also I'm a realist of boxing. Now, really and truly, the fight shouldn't be, shouldn't be sanctioned at all. You know what I mean? But this is this is where what is it? Uh, uh, reality reality will copy art and art will copy reality for the simple fact that what was it? Rocky Four, an amateur fighter comes out and fights the former heavyweight champion of the world. Right, Drago fights Apollo Creed, it's exactly the same thing. Well, you know what I mean? Like in, in mindset we say this could never ever happen. How could somebody have no amateur experience, no no professional experience, and and fight the former heavyweight champion of the world who's been retired for five years? Well, Floyd Mayweather's been retired for two years, and he's fighting a man who's had no experience as a boxer whatsoever. But the thing is, when you're saying it shouldn't be sanctioned, it will be sanctioned because the state of Nevada will earn a lot of money through sanctioning fees. Um, they're talking about this fight's going to generate 500, got half a billion, they're saying this fight will generate. So if it's going to generate that, they are going to get paid sanctioning fees. Are they going to turn away and say, no, we're not going to, we don't want to sanction this? No, it's nonsense. They, they, they will be sanctioned and and they, will, and they will earn a lot of money from it. And the thing about it is this is like, this will bring eyeballs to boxing. Even it's like Crash TV, but it will bring eyeballs. Now, I'm not a fan of the fact that it is a gimmick fight, but it's a fight that's caught the imagination of people. Absolutely, it, it, it uh, has for sure, you know, I mean, a lot of people are speaking about it. I mean, even Dana White said in the press conference with Lennon Ellaby yesterday that, you know, it was the fans and the media that pretty much hyped up the fight. Dana White wasn't actually a fan of it at first. Um, but um, Spencer, in terms of the logistics of the fight, so with it being 154 pounds, 12 rounds, additionally, Spencer, the gloves are 10 ounces. McGregor usually wears 4 ounce gloves in the octagon. So now he's going to have to wear 10 ounce gloves. So, what do you make of the logistics of the fight? 12 rounds compared to 5 in the UFC, 154 pounds. McGregor's full at, uh, at, at that weight pretty much around it before. So, what do you make of the. Well, the thing about it is, Conor McGregor's a physically big man. He's as big as. Um, he's as physically big as Sergei Kovalev. Because you saw when he had that little spat with Sergei Kovalev and they stood beside each other. So, he's a physically big man who, 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 who cuts weight to get down to his fighting weight in the UFC. So, I'm not, those, those logistics don't mean nothing to me because it's what you're going to wear on the fight night itself and how much you're going to rehydrate. And Floyd Mayweather is very clever, so he's going to have a rehydration limit anyway, so it's not for a title. So, all of the intangibles to that don't mean anything. Um, it's going to be a, a great event. It's not going to be a great fight, but it's going to be a great event. Because the intangibilities of the what ifs and what if Conor McGregor was to land? Okay, I don't care if Floyd Mayweather was sixty years old. Conor McGregor's not going to land on him. Spencer also, obviously, Mayweather Pacquiao is the highest grossing fight in boxing history, and obviously uh, Mayweather was also involved in the other two out of the three: Mayweather Canelo and Mayweather De La Hoya. Do you believe this will surpass Mayweather Pacquiao and how much it grosses, or, or not? Um, I believe it will. Because even though Manny Pacquiao was big, he was really big, but I really think it will it will surpass it will surpass all of those things. Okay, fair enough. Um, additionally, Spencer, this morning and last night as well, uh, I saw an array of tweets from different fighters saying who say who are saying they want to be on the undercard of this. In particular, Spencer, uh, a UFC fighter called Wilson Rice called out Javante Davis and. Notably as well, the UFC heavyweight champion, Stipe Mayocic, called out Anthony Joshua on Twitter for him to fight. So, I mean, it's obviously unlikely those fights are going to happen on the undercard, but what sort of things do you think we can expect on, on the undercard? 
Um, I know that Badu Jack's going to be on the undercard. You must probably see because the undercard is going to be run by uh, Mayweather Promotions. Mayweather Promotions, yeah. So the whole undercard is going to be given to Mayweather's to 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 Mayweather's entourage and his team to to to, to fight, and and quite rightly so. Um, so when you're hearing oh, well, this guy calling out Anthony Joshua, let me tell you this: Anthony Joshua would 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 could most probably take the life off of this USC fighter who wants to fight him. Uh, if in a boxing match, so forget that one. Um, let this just be a one-off. Um, people think that it's going to branch off into UFC fighters fighting boxers. No, it's not. Um, or similar, sim- similarly to what was it? Um, was it Randy Couture who fought James Tony, right? Yeah, correct. I'm, I'm um, so. Yeah, well, Randy. What, what they should have done, they should have had three fights, and it should have been one in UFC, one in boxing, and then they have a toss to say what's the last fight going to be. This is going to be a one-off occasion where Floyd Mayweather beats the hell out of Conor McGregor, um, and 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 that's it. I don't think like any any anybody with a right sound mind could think that Conor McGregor's gonna gonna do anything apart from all these Irish people. Because um, I haven't spoken to one Irish people now who doesn't think that Conor McGregor's gonna win, and I think it's fool's pride because I know in their hearts heart they know that he's gonna lose, but they're still backing their man, which is kind of cool. That they are so patriotic to 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 their flag. And Spencer, uh, finally, do you believe after this huge payday, McGregor will get from this fight? Do you believe we'll, we will see him fight in the UFC octagon again? Because Dana White yeah. says he will. But yes, he will. Dana say? White, Dana White said he will fight again. And he will fight again because he's going to get beaten. He's going to get beaten by Floyd Mayweather. But like I said, I said this. I said this many times. I said this on Fire Hype about two months ago. What will happen is this. That the, the bell will come out and Floyd will come out. The bell will go and Floyd will come out and totally outbox him for three or four rounds. Ridiculously outbox him, make him like an idiot. And then Conor McGregor will say, to hell with this, do a spinning roundhouse kick, kick Floyd Mayer in the head and choke him. Mayweather's was, was entourage will jump in the ring to pull him off. Then Conor McGregor's entourage and there'll be a big Barney and everything else. And Floyd will say, I was beating the guy and he cheated. But nobody will care because the majority of folks especially in America, which is a predominantly which is a predominantly Conor McGregor fan base, they will say Conor McGregor kicked your butt and Floyd, why don't you go and fight him in the UFC? And Floyd will definitely turn that one down. And so the moral victim will be Conor McGregor. That's what's gonna happen. Watch and see. Spencer Ferrin, thank you so much for your time today for PSP Sports. I really appreciate it and uh, fingers crossed we can catch up with you soon my friend. Alright, take care. God bless man. Later.